Yeah, so we're finding the temperature in Fahrenheit when the temperature in Celsius is 25. I've put 25 in the formula. It means I'm going to multiply 9 times 25 divided by 5, which gives me 45. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the 32 to that, which gives me 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So the next one, we want to solve our equation for Celsius. That means we're going to solve, we're going to get C by itself. So to do that, let me write this down so you, we can go through the process together. So right now, F equals 9 fifths C plus 32. So we're going to start by subtracting the 32 from both sides. So that would give us, we still have our 9 fifths C, but we just, instead of adding the 32 to the 9 fifths C, we're going to subtract it from F. And then to get rid of the 9 fifths, we multiply by the reciprocal, which is 5 ninths. So we're going to have 5 ninths times F minus 32. And that gives us our answer in Celsius. So now we just need to plug in. Oh, well, we're done with number 11. I probably gave you too much space for that, huh? So now all we have to do is do 5 ninths of 81 minus 32 and that'll equal our temperature so we're going to start this time by subtracting the 32 that has to happen first because it's in the parentheses so what is 81 minus 32 So that's 49, and then we're going to multiply by 5 and divide by 9. So 5 times 49 divided by 9. Did you say 27.2? Cool. Uh, yeah, I would just round it. It's fine. Yesterday, I just had an normal doctor's office visit that I'd had scheduled for a while and they took my temperature and everything and said my temperature was 37.5 degrees celsius and so then uh so then they told me that that was like 99 point something fahrenheit or something which is about normal they don't consider that a fever so but I was thinking oh look celsius and fahrenheit in action right here at the doctor's office Okay.